Hi, Dr. P here to answer the question, do you need a lot of math to design games? The shorter answer is, real math, no. Unless you're a subsidiary designer of a video game where real math is necessary, perhaps a physics designer. Probability, you need to know a fair bit. Logic, yes, you need to know logic. Take myself as an example, am I good at math? I'm good at arithmetic anyway. I started as a physics major, but it was boring and I switched to history. I've never found a use for my year of calculus in game design. I also taught myself programming, but I don't use programming in game design, not even for video games. They're two different things. So, why would you need calculus or differential equations, that sort of college university math? You're designing how the game is supposed to work. That doesn't involve math, generally. Programmers may need this math, depending on the type of game. So if you're programming your own games, then you might need it too. But that's not game design. And yes, there are people who are convinced that all games are math. But one, usually it's simple math. And two, it's mainly puzzles as disguised as games that are all math not opposed games, that is, games where you're playing with, against other people. Now, probability is a different question. If you don't understand a fair bit of probability, how can you know what you're doing when the game involves some kind of chance? Calculus never helped me with probability, but I've taught myself some probability. I made at least one video about simple probability for game designers, and I recommend you check out James Ernest's article about the same topic. Google James Ernest, James Ernest Probability. Logic. Well, some designers claim to rely on intuition, but intuition is a chancy affair. Much of the nuts and bolts of a game resembles engineering. And I don't know about you, but I don't want engineers relying on int intuition. Much of designing a game is also problem solving. You need to understand and use logic as a matter of course when you're solving problems. Now, formal logic includes both equations and rules of logical fallacies. If you don't understand the following, you might need to study logic. Equation, and I call it an equation, it's, it's not the proper term. If A, then B. Well, A is true, so then B must be true. Logical fallacies. One of the really common ones is the ad hominem fallacy. People attack the source, a person who makes a suggestion or an assertion, to try to invalidate the result. Well, logically, the human origination doesn't invalidate anything. Even Adolf Hitler could be right. The question is, is the suggestion or assertion sensible, not who made it? And there's a whole list of logical fallacies like that. You can look them up on Wikipedia. Now, here's a viewpoint of a person who hires free-to-play game designers. Ilya Arameyev. He says, game designers are basically divided into two types. Game designers, storytellers, and game designers, mathematics. The first ones see their role in developing a feeling, writing a plot, quests, item descriptions, and game universe backstory. The second ones are all about balance design, economics, gameplay formulas, and calculations. In all conscience, most designers unite those skills, but usually they focus on one side more than on the other. Usually, I hunt people with math programming background and surely add this condition to our vacancy, which helps immediately cut off half of unsuitable candidates and save some time. So he's certainly looking at the math side of things. But even there, the math can be seen as logic and probability more than actual math. Now, some people say there are three kinds of games. And they're represented by three statements. One, all games are math. Two, games are about people. Three, games are stories. And that's really a subsidiary of the people one. But even the math games rarely require more than arithmetic and probability and logic. 
I have a separate screencast about these three kinds of games, which is available on my game design channel on YouTube. Now consider video game programmers. I once read of a video game studio leader who polled his programmers and every one of them really wanted to be a game designer, not a programmer. But programming is entirely separate from game design. A video game designer will benefit from knowing what programming, programming can accomplish for complex games. Tabletop game designer, programming is not involved. Frankly, I think anyone who's involved in software games should know something about programming. But even that isn't math. Remember, game design does not require programming. Software requires programming. Game design and programming are two quite different things. Thanks for listening.